Hey guys, this is Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. I am here at the Behringer Wing, and the previous video I was showing you how to get multiple main buses set up to get a left-right main bus and maybe a subwoofer bus. But now we actually have to get those to the outputs of the board. So let's go ahead and do that. Now by default, the main left-right is going to show up on the XLR outs of 7 and 8 on the back of the physical board of the wing. Now what if we wanted to add in our subwoofer that we just added to that output scheme? Well, we do that on the routing page. So I'm going to click over on routing, and then I'm going to navigate to where I want to place my output source. And that's on my local outs. So we can see here that on 7 is our main left, and 8 is our main right. Well, now I'm wanting to get my subwoofers getting sent out on 6. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on 6. This is local out 6. And then I'm going to press the unlock button. And then I'm going to go and navigate to my mains and find my subs. Now, this was set up as a mono sub. This was a mono main bus, but with the way that the Behringer wing works is it will always take up the two of this source and this source. So we can see that three left and three right are here. But if I was to make main bus three a mono source, it would still show up on both of these spots. So don't get confused when you are routing an output source that is mono to a physical output because it will show up on both spots and both of them are identical. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. Now that we have my subs routed, let's maybe go ahead and add another additional left-right output out of an auxiliary jack on the back of the board. So I'm going to take my local out and change it over to aux out, and say I want my left-right coming out one, two, and my subwoofers coming out three. So I would make sure it's unlocked, and then I would simply tap on the things that I want to route there. Now we can additionally do this for sending down our AES-50 stream. If I had, say, an X32 connected on my AES-50A port, and I was wanting my talkback microphone from this console to go over to the X32, we can do that. So typically when I'm setting up my talkback microphone, I'm connecting it in on the local 8 input on the back of this board. So I can go and find my AES-50A, and I can simply tap 48, and then pick where I want to pull this from, which would be coming from local 8. And now I have my talkback microphone plugged in there, and when I'm talking down it, it will head out AES-50A on channel 48 over to the other AES-50 connected device. Now, if I was wanting to set up a floor wedge or a monitor, I would want to route that from the bus sends or the mix buses as they're called. So let's go ahead and route a aux out from my one, two, and three from one of the mix buses. So I'm going to go find my mix buses, which are buses, and here we go. So main left, right, instead of being on one, I want that to be my bus one. And then two will be my bus two, three will be my bus three. And once you're done, make sure you lock the screen as you don't want to accidentally change your routing inadvertently. So that sums up this video. On the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up a mono floor wedge and also how to set up a stereo in-ear mix. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.